Welcome into the Fans Only Sports Network and welcome to Cranston West Gymnasium for high school boys volleyball action here in the state of Rhode Island. The Lincoln Lions are here to take on the Cranston West Falcons. Charlie Adams here on play-by-play -play with Alan Chen doing the camera work for this matchup set to kick off at 6.30 p.m. Cranston West is entering this game 4-0 on the year. 3-0 win versus Woonsocket to open their season, followed by a 3-2 win versus Barrington, 3-1 versus Central, 3-1 versus East Providence. They're coming in against a tough Lincoln team. Been tough in years past and certainly are bringing it this year as well. They sit 3-1 on the season and should be a competitive matchup. Thank you to everyone tuned in on the Fans Only Sports Network watching along with us. So if you're just joining us for your first broadcast here on the Fans Only Sports Network of volleyball, we have the current set score to the left. In the gray numbers is the total set score. So as you see there, ball out of bounds. Cranston West picks up the first point. They lead the set one to nothing. On the right is the set score. And to keep track of what set you're in, have that for you as well. Served over the top, Lincoln receives, sent back, fielded first by Christopher Harvey, now bounding along the net. Lightly tapped over, Lincoln McNamara sends it in for the kill. Wayne McNamara, one of the captains for the Lions, along with Jack Guerrier. Back to serve for Lincoln, Jack Gourier. Can't get it over the net. The Falcons pick up a point here. The Falcons, again, 4-0, facing the 3-1 Lincoln. We're happy for all of you who made it to the Fans Only Sports Network to tune in for this matchup. Block attempted by the Falcons, unsuccessful as Lincoln gets on the board again. Tied up two apiece. McNamara, jump serve, sent over, received by the Falcons. Now a tap over from Chris, Christian Mack, and a clean block the Falcons. Quickly excited here in our first set. Some substitutions coming on for Cranston West as Sormonti comes off, Jordan Kuna comes on. Also onto the court, Michael Harvey on for Nate Dixon. Three to two, the Falcons leading in our first set of action. McNamara fields it for the, Fal for the Lions at the start and then a miss hit from Cranston West. Kevin DeLone can't get that the right direction. Early mistake. And now another back-to-back -back for Cranston West. This time Logan Reed unable to get a good bump. The lone loss on Lincoln's season early on here came against Barrington. They lost two sets to three, now four touch against Cranston West, a gun. Another point going the Lincoln Lions way. A big wind up spike attempt from Kuna goes out of bounds. Six to three, the Lions in control of our first set. Serve out of bounds. Point goes the Falcons' way. Pretty nice day of weather out here. Pretty good 60 degrees. 
Got up to 68 during the day, and it's made this Cranston West gym all that more unpleasant. It's very humid in this building. Lincoln with another point. They lead it 7-4. Logan Reed fields it for Cranston West. Now tapped over. Kuna drops it in. Jordan Kuna, one of the many seniors on the Cranston West Falcons roster, picking up the point there. A little bit of a miss hit from Lincoln, but they recover. And now West with a good dig. Violation gives Lincoln the point. Off goes Brian Google. On comes John Barros, and he'll serve it up here. Cranston West, another block attempt and successful one. Michael Sormonti comes on for Jordan Kuna and is back to serve. Eight to six, the Lions are leading in set one. Sormonti serves it, and it will be marked out of bounds just by an inch. Going up high for it. Chris Harvey picks up the point for the Falcons. Harvey after his spike, ready to serve and kick off this point. McNamara sends it back. Harvey bumps. Mack sends it over. McNamara again for the Lions, sending it over. And a hard effort from Christian Mack picks up the point. Cranston West within one of tying here in set one. Serve can't make it over the net from Chris Harvey. Lincoln back to serve with their libero, Jack Guerriere. Guerriere goes directly to Sermonti, and now Mack tips it over for the Falcons. McNamara sends it back out of bounds. The Falcons get a point here. 10 to nine. Cranston West trailing for most of the, our first set. Tried to tip it over, good block from Cranston West there. Sormonti over to Mack, to Mack. Ashton Mack to Christian Mack to a tied game, 10 to 10. Charlie Adams here with the Fans Only Sports Network. The Cranston West boys volleyball team is rolling to start their season after a strong season last year, giving up a point once again. to 10 the Lions are back in front after it being tied up and now a clean block from Lincoln when these two teams faced off in last year's game the final meeting was in the playoffs where Lincoln took down Cranston West at the Murray Center three sets to one. The Division II championship match at Rhode Island College 
Lincoln as the four seed beat the two seeded Cranston West in the championship game. So you gotta make sure that Cranston, you gotta think that Cranston West has been waiting a while for this matchup between the Falcons and the Lions. Kuna sends it in and he picks it up for Cranston East, or Cranston West, excuse me. Logan Reed serves it. It's gonna look like it'll end up an ace for the Falcons here as Logan Reed tossed it over. Back even 13 to 13 in our first set. Reed now gets it over and good block by Cranston West. The Falcons now out in front for the first time here tonight. 14 to 13 in our first set. It's been about as close as you can get for the beginning half of set number one. Brian Googles finding Reed and now the Falcons find themselves out in front. Once again here, leading by two. Big spike down from Google. Another point awarded to Cranston West and it's gonna cause a timeout to be called from Lincoln head coach Lindsey Sweeney. We'll take a timeout right along with them. 17 to 13, the Falcons are leading over the Lions in set number one. Welcome back to set number one here. 17-13, the Falcons are leading over the defending Division II champion, Lincoln Lions. And Lincoln trying to weave it in. They can't drop it down. Point goes Cranston Westway. Referees right on top of it. Also from where we're located looked to be out as well. No disagreements here. McNamara goes high and way over, out of bounds. The Falcons, six points to go before bringing home set number one. Pretty good fan attendance here for the Falcons. Packing into the Cranston West gym. Blocked by Harvey. Now Mack sets it up. Kuna drops it over. And a spike down by Lincoln. Jackson Colton sending it in for the kill. Nineteen to fourteen. Poor serve. Point goes Cranston Westway. Helps out the Falcons. Hey! 
McNamara drops it in. Perfectly placed on the spike. And the Falcons holding on to a five point lead. Again, coming into the game, John Barros for Brian Google as he sets up for the serve. Over to Harvey, and now Kuna drops it in. Up high, sent down by Austin Knoll, and that five-point lead goes down to four, 20 to 16. Kuna gets it over to blockers from the Lions. And now Kuna sending it back over out of bounds. 20 to 17. Thank you to everyone tuned in watching the Fans Only Sports Network's presentation of boys high school volleyball. Big matchup in the state of Rhode Island as Mack gets the point for the Falcons. Nate Dixon and Michael Sormonti head into the game. Jordan Kuna and Michael Harvey head to the bench for Cranston West. Caught up on the net. The Falcons recover as it falls to their side and they pick up the point. Cranston West back-to-back -back points puts them two points away from taking home set number one. Tossed up, McNamara floats to it. Now caught up in the girder, point will go to Lincoln. Bit unfortunate for the Falcons as it gets caught in the roof there. Dixon with the quick tap back on the block attempt and now drops in. Falcons caught, stuck in place as Cranston West now holds just a four point lead. Tapped over by Harvey. Big block from the Falcons. Doing it, doing it again there. Back to back, great blocks. Now Mack will lob it up to his brother for the kill. Ashton Mack and Christian Mack. One's a senior, one's a sophomore. Both are playing a pivotal role in this first set for the Falcons. Nearly an ace to close out set one. And now Ashton Mack saves it for Cranston West. Lincoln working up a return and McNamara drops it in. 24 to 20 here in set number one. Serve received by Sormonti. Now Dixon going high to send it over. McNamara goes forward. Reed saves it, and Mack unable to get it over. 24 to 21. Cranston West in front still, within one point of taking home set number one. Charlie Adams here bringing you this action on the Fans Only Sports Network. Little sloppy return, but gets the job done for the Falcons. And now McNamara is blocked. Running out of hits, they get it over. The Lions reeling here with their first set on the line. Drops in. Two points to go now. And a timeout is taken.
Cranston West uses a timeout during set number one with the score 24 to 22. One point away, the Falcons are from taking home set one and stick around through this break to see the conclusion of set number one. Right back to it with set number two on your doorstep. Falcons need one more point. Serve coming up for Lincoln. Received by Sormonti and now Mac to Mac. Dropped in. That will do it for the first set. 25 to 22. Cranston West goes up one set to none on the Lincoln Lions. So that means that we can put the one there. And now you can really see how the scoreboard's working here. One set to none. We can reset the scoreboard as well. Stick with us as we... Rotate sides. Division two championship rematch. One more change and we're all ready to go. Set number two. Just about ready to kick off here to Rhode Island Interscholastic League. Division two matchup between the 4-0 Falcons and the 3-1 Lions. Scott Reslow of Res V Systems has Cranston West ranked at number five with the Lincoln Lions rated as the seventh best team after two weeks of action here in Rhode Island's volleyball scene. And Cranston West crosstown rival Cranston East holds the number eight position in that rankings as they sit three and two. You can catch the Cranston East Thunderbolts volleyball team in action tomorrow when they take on a tough but doable matchup against Coventry. The game kicks off at 6.30 and is free on the Fans Only Sports Network right where you found this one. We're going to send you to break until we're ready to kick off set two. The Falcons lead one set to none. Welcome back to set number two. Cranston West took home the first set, 25 to 21. Trying to hold on to their undefeated record early on in the season, taking on one of the best that Division II has to offer. Cranston West will start off set two with the serve. Thank you. 
Mack sends it over, set one under, or set two underway. And a quick block, but violation against the Falcons. Point goes to Lincoln. Falcons go down two to nothing in set number two. And now a lob up high for Christian Mack. Fielded successfully by the Lions. The return effort by McNamara popped up by Mack who returns fire. Good dig from Jack. And the Falcons. Two substitutions on for Cranston West. And a huge spike down. Floors Logan Reed and picks up the point for Cranston E or Jesus for Lincoln. Another big attempt. Knocked down by the Falcons. A good block there. First lead of the second set, three to two. Sormonti sends it over. McNamara threads the needle and drops it in for the point. One touch back over by the Falcons who pick up the point on the return effort from Lincoln. Still a humid time in this Cranston West Gymnasium as the one-handed save by Mack. Unsuccessful, it falls in for a Lincoln point. Christian Mack with the high tap over. Now a big loaded up effort coming from Brian Google. Can't get the job done for the, Fal for the Lions. Falcons go up five to four. Christian Mack sends it over for the Falcons. The block effort. Has Lincoln reeling. They get it over on the third hit. Now it's sent out of bounds by Ashton Mack. Five to five. Tyler Biddle sends it in. And it goes out of bounds. Cranston West back out in front. Six to five. Michael Harvey sends it for Cranston West and can't get it over, so both teams trading poor serves. Still tied now, six to six. Oh, 
There's another. So the Lions now on back-to-back -back serves that can't make it over the net. Falcons have a chance to match. Falcons successfully get it over the net. Load up from McNamara. Can't do the same, and the Falcons have back-to-back -back points. Logan Reed serves it. And a good block from Cranston West. Once again, Lincoln forced to lightly tap it over on the third hit. Now a setup for Harvey, who pushes it through. McNamara returns it for the Lions. Now Kuna taps it over, and the point's going to go Cranston or go against Cranston West as Lincoln. Good defending there. Cranston West, good quick rally to go back up two points. A bit of miscommunication coming from Lincoln as Cranston West first to ten in set number two. Big spike down, Harvey keeps the Falcons rolling as a timeout is taken by the Lions. Back underway, Lincoln first to use their timeout in set two. But they trail by four, and we're now trail by five. McNamara's blocked by Cranston West. Bit of a miss hit. The Lions recover now, and Cranston West returning fire with Kuna tapping it over. Two-handed pushover from the Lions. A spike attempt blocked by Lincoln. Lincoln with back-to-back -back scores. 12 to nine here. And Christian Mack sends it down.
Sormonti with a tight serve over the net. The spike down, saved by Logan Reed. Mack travels out for it. Quick tap over from Dixon, finds the mark. Cranston West leads 14 to nine. Big point from the Lions. Good send in from Mack. Lincoln returns it back. Now Mack setting it up for his brother as it's sent back in. Now off to Gerter. Goes out of bounds. Fifteen to ten. Set two continuing on here with Cranston West leading for most of it. Or maybe the Lions picking up some momentum as they spike it down hard there. Dixon goes high and knocks it in. Cranston West picks up another point during our second set of action. Christian Mack serves it. The Lions quick recovery. Logan Reed with the dig and it's sent back by the Falcons. Dropped in for the point. Kevin DeLone finding the empty space in the Lions defense. Mack fields it. And Dixon trying to get it over, but it's blocked by Lincoln. Seventeen to twelve. Long serve there coming from Tyler Biddle. Straight out of bounds. It's now eighteen to twelve. The Falcons need just seven points to go up um, dominating two sets to none. Michael Harvey's serve. Finds McNamara and the SWAT sent back. Cranston West now going for another block. This one unsuccessful. And the Lions get up to 13 points in our second set. Jackson Colton back to serve for Lincoln. Logan Reed fields it. Mack quickly sends it over and drops it in for the point. Ashton Mack caught the Lions off guard, sending it in on the second hit. Harvey heads up. And it'll drop in after some effort from the Lions. Chris Harvey gets the point and forces Lincoln to use another timeout here during our second set. 20 to 13, the Falcons in a commanding lead of our second set, looking to go up two sets to none.
Welcome back to set number two here between the Lions and the Falcons. Five points is what Cranston West needs to bring home set number two. Mack tosses it up and Harvey didn't get all of it but got enough to get the job done. Now Logan Reed back to serve. Reed sends it in. Guerrier fields it. And Lincoln sends it in hard and Kuna unable to redirect it. Handle the serve. An ace goes the way of the Lions as John Barrows back to look for back to back aces here. Harvey not going to let back to back aces happen. But it will be back to back scores for Lincoln as the Lions bring up a bit of a comeback here. They're within five in our second set. Short serve from Barros. Three points to go for Cranston West. McNamara drops it in. Falcons unable to block it. Another short serve from Lincoln. That one eating at Austin Noel after his error. Couple substitutions for Cranston West as Sormonti into the game ready to serve. Two points to go in the set number two for Cranston West to bring it home. McNamara sent it in hard. Logan Reed the even harder dig. And now a net fault from the Lions. Twenty-three to eighteen. Another short serve from Lincoln. They have not done themselves any favors here, trying to make a comeback in set number two. Charlie Adams here for the Fans Only Sports Network. You can check out Fans Only Sports on the links below. Blocked by West. Now Harvey sets it up. Mack with Mack coming in from behind. McNamara goes high and drops it in. Wayne McNamara definitely seems to have a fair amount of control over where that volleyball goes when he's spiking it. On the serve, a little too much power. That'll do it for set number two. A lot of poor serves from the Lions cost them, and it puts the Falcons in a 2-0 set lead as we enter a break here. 25 to 19, Cranston West does better than set one to go up. It's two sets to none, set three on the other side of this break.
it's going to take some digging for the Falcons. Or excuse me, it's going to take some digging for the Lions to get out of this hole here. Two sets to none. Cranston West in ahead, in front in this Division II championship rematch from last year. The number five, Cranston West, and number seven, Lincoln Lions off of Scott Reslow's rankings. Going head to head here. Live on the Fans Only Sports Network, Charlie Adams here. Proud to bring you this coverage as set three now underway. The Lions start set three out in front. For Cranston West, Logan Reed, the libero, has been making some great digs and big stops. The and for Lincoln, their big issue here tonight has been their serving, especially towards the end of set two. You saw it early and often with them unable to either get it over or sending it too far. But when they're responding defensively, they've done a good job, led by Wayne McNamara, who picked up the point there. 25 to 21, Cranston East or Cranston West brought home set number one. 25 to 19 was your score in set two. Set three, which could be our final set, starting off hotly contested as ever. Cranston West now tying it two to two. Mack back to serve. Now Mack receiving for Cranston West. Sent in, Nate Dixon picks up the kill. Dixon has been getting up there with some great kills here. On the front lines for Cranston West. Good serve by Mack. Third hit send in by Lincoln. And now Mack tapping it over. And Lincoln unable to return it. The Lions haven't had much to offer Cranston West. And that serve won't help Cranston West, but maybe the Lions can pick it up here in set number three. Straight out of bounds. Lincoln's serving troubles coming back here. Lincoln bench starting a chant in support of their teammates as a pretty packed out Cranston West gym looks on. Bumped and spiked over the Lions with a strong effort there. Picking up their fourth point in set number three. Christian Mack gets the serve. Now tapped over by DeLone. Six to four, Logan Reed back to serve for Cranston West. Reed sends it in. McNamara fields it and Brian Google's return effort goes out of bounds. Seven to four. Yeah. 
Lincoln with another point. I've referred to Scott Reslow's rankings a couple times on the broadcast. He also said this was going to be the match of the day in the volleyball world for Rhode Island High School boys volleyball. Another point drops in for Cranston West. Ashton Mack sends it in. McNamara fields it. And now the Lions having to send it over. They do. Reed gets it. Mack to Mack. And it's going to get it. The Lions on the board once again here. 8-6. to six, Cranston West in front. You can tune in for Cranston East Bay... Cranston East Volleyball on Wednesday on the Fans Only Sports Network. And then on Thursday, Cranston East Baseball action will be broadcasted live as well. Among the other Cranston East and Cranston West sports broadcasted simultaneously. Sormonti's serve can't find its way over. Nine to seven. And the Falcons get it to tip off of Lincoln who can't redirect it. Picking up point number 10. Ten to seven, Cranston West, two sets to none. Pick up a point there. Ace from Harvey. Chris Harvey tosses it in. McNamara sends it over. Harvey dives out to stop it. And Cranston West, good rally there. Draws the timeout from Lincoln. We'll take it with them. 12 to seven, the Falcons leading in set three, which could be our final set. Welcome back to set three here between the Lions and the Falcons, a Division II championship rematch. 12 to seven, Cranston West is getting that much closer to sweeping the team that took them down last year in the championship game. Lions don't plan on going quietly with Wayne McNamara, strong kill there. Monty fields it from Mack to Mack. And Christian Mack sent it in with plenty of power. No chance to return it. Way out of bounds. The Lions draw another point here. 14 to 18. 14 to 8, excuse me. J. 
Jackson. Colton goes up high and drops it in for Lincoln. Still looking for point number 10. The Mac-to-Mac -Mac connection's been money. Here they can't get the point. Lions pick up 10 on the scoreboard, 14 to 10. And quickly, Lincoln gets a free point there. Falcons making a mistake, 14 to 11. McNamara tossing it over. Two Falcons go diving for it, and Cranston West picks up the point. Jordan Kuna, along with Michael Harvey, head off or head on to the court as Michael Sormonti and Nate Dixon head to the bench here, 15-11. One-handed save from Harvey. McNamara is blocked. And now Reed from the back saves it. Mac to Mac. Reed bumps. Set. Spike. And that's a point for the Falcons. Marcus Pinero. Michael Harvey serves it. Two tapped over. The Falcons get a point. 17 to 11. Strong lead in our third set. The Lions return effort unsuccessful. And we'll get another timeout from Lincoln. 18 to 11. Cranston West in front. We'll be right back. Welcome back. 18 to 11, your score currently in set three between the Falcons and the Lions with Cranston West up two sets to none. Charlie Adams here bringing you the action as off the timeout. Harvey goes wide with his serve and Lincoln gets a point. Mack to Ashton Mack who sets up Kuna and Cranston West back into the scoring column. Six points away from bringing home set number three and putting an end to this contest between the Lions and the Falcons. Logan Reed serves it over. Now Mac, the light tap in. Again, able to just locate the blank space in the defense from the Lions. Twenty to twelve, eight point lead as Logan Reed can't get it over. 
Lincoln definitely has the size advantage over the Falcons, but that's not played a factor. One tap back over from Cranston West, now setting it up for Kuna, who drops it in for the point. Four points to go. McNamara fields it. Now McNamara with the tap over. Reed setting it up for Mack. The Lions can't get it over as Google went high. Connecting with the net. 22 to 13, a nine point lead in set three for Cranston West. Great serve from the Falcons. Google sends it back. And now Mac to Mac. Gets the point. The Falcons have a reliable connection there between Christian Mac and Ashton Mac. Serve goes straight out of bounds for Ashton Mack. 23 to 14. The defending Division II champs two points away from being swept for the first time in this season. One point away as Barrows can't get the serve over. Dixon and Sormonti will check in here. Sarmonti ready to serve with a chance to bring home the set. McNamara blocked. Lincoln recovering. McNamara will try again and won't get it over. The Falcons sweep it here. Three to nothing over Lincoln. A dominant performance in this championship rematch from just a year ago. 25 to 14, they win set three, and they win the game here, three to nothing, three sets to none. 25 to 21, a close first set, followed up by 25 to 19 in set two, and then a dominant third and final set, 25 to 14. The Falcons stay undefeated here in league play as we say goodbye from us at the Fans Only Sports Network. Myself, Charlie Adams, my cameraman, Alan Chen. Have a great rest of your night. We hope to see you join us again on the Fans Only Sports Network sometime soon. If you're into volleyball action, you might want to tune in tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. for the Cranston East Thunderbolts when they take on their opponents tomorrow. That should be an exciting matchup versus Coventry. We hope to see you then, but for now, we'll say goodbye. Have a great rest of your night.